so where's my next patient? They are always late. <sighs> oh, here they are. Hello there. Glad you could join us. Fifteen minutes late. Get yourself in that chair then. Let's see what we need to do for you today. I don't need excuses. Don't worry about that. We need to get on with it. I have other patients to see, apart from you. All right, so what's the matter? You want a checkup and you've got a lump in your gum. All right, bear with. Where's the lump? Oh, okay. Yes, the weather is bad. I don't really get time to look outside though. And I certainly won't now you're late. Held me up for the rest of the day. Right then. Let's just take a look at your jaw. Okay. Just open your mouth for me. Wider. Thank you. Open and close. Does that hurt at all? Only on the side where you've got this lump, right, okay? I just feel underneath. Anything sore there? Okay. Right. Oh, my stupid nurse hasn't put all of my tools out again. you put the mirror there for me? Thank you. Perfect. I won't be needing you for this. Off you go. Don't need my nurse all the time. She gets in the way. Right, so open nice and wide for me. Let me just have a look in wider. Come on, I know you can open your mouth wider than that. Getting close, all right. Need to have a closer inspection. Oh, your breath smells disgusting. How often do you clean your teeth? Oh, 
I'm not sure you do do it that often, to be honest. They're not the best. They look a bit grubby. And your breath smells awful. There's a lot of bacteria in your mouth. Honestly. Mm. Right. Keep it open. Don't keep closing it on me. I can't look at your teeth. If you keep closing it, thank you. Hmm. Just going to have to put my finger in there reluctantly. Yep, you've got a bit of an abscess up there. They're not uncommon. And they are painful, as you're experiencing. Okay. I'll need to give you some antibiotics for that. And then you'll have to come back. I can't do anything while it's so inflamed. Okay. How long have you left it like that? Well, you should have come before now, really. Have a look around those gums. Okay, keep it open. Okay, don't keep biting down on my tools, just keep it open. Okay, nice and wide. Tell me if anything hurts. I want to try and do this quickly. I'll be unconscious with the smell of your breath soon. Don't try and talk while I'm doing this. It's not helpful to me or to you. Some serious plaque on these. Do you use a manual toothbrush? Right. I think you need to um, learn some technique. Gee, Gabs, look at this. No wonder you're getting abscesses. Well, Not much I can do for that today, as I said, but I will give you those antibiotics. Just give you a little bit of suction. Again for me, breathe through your nose, makes it a lot more comfortable. Okay. Is that hurting? No, well keep your mouth open for me please then. I'm not even prodding them at the moment, I'm just having a look around with my mirror. But now I'm going to prod them. Do 
you've got some bleeding as well, which is um, a sign that you're not cleaning properly. Let's just go in between. Okay. So we've got two, two, three, one, two, two, three. Try and get some of this nastiness off your teeth shortly and then you'll have to come back and see the hygienist because they're not so clean. Well, I'm not surprised. I think we're getting some smell from that abscess as well. Mm. Okay, right. Let's just give you a little bit more suction. I'm going to try and scrape a little bit of the serious plaque off your teeth, alright, and uh, then I'll be getting you to go to the hygienist, because I can't deal with that, I haven't got time to deal with all that, it's her job anyway, not mine really, okay, just bear with me. guarantee that this is going to be very comfortable but I'm going to do my best to um, get rid of some of that gunk off your teeth. Let's polish up that mirror. Okay, open wide again. Thank you and keep it open. the plaque that's holding your teeth together. There's some fragile looking bits of tooth here. Now I can't do this area up here because of the abscess. That's going to be too sore. And I'll have you back in a week's time when you've had your antibiotics. I'm sorry that's sore, but I'm just trying to get some of the excess off. Okay, 
bit of suction, get this uh, blood out of your mouth. wide again for me, thank you. I think you're going to need to book a double appointment with the hygienist. She'll never get this done. And a normal appointment. I think you need to be uh, shown how to brush your teeth by her, not me. You drink a lot of tea, your teeth are brown. Tea really does stay. As does red wine. Well, I think you probably drink some of that as well, don't you? Or quite a lot of it, looking at you anyway. <laughs> Just joking, of course. I know it's sore. I'm just trying to see what's going to come off easily, but none of it is coming off that easily. Hygienist has her work cut out. again now. Okay. I shall do your x-ray next time when the abscess has calmed down. I haven't got time to do it today because you were late as per usual. So when that's calmed down, you can come back and if that tooth needs to come out, we can get a shot of that for you. Do you pay into the dental plan? No? Oh, well, it's going to cost you quite a lot of money then. It wouldn't cost you a lot if you looked after your teeth, but clearly you don't. Which is good because it gets more money in my pocket. Oh, I shouldn't say that, should I? I don't think I'm going to be able to do any more with those today. Just maybe one little scrape down here. Trying to get in between these teeth at the front, at the bottom. Uh, completely plucked together. You clearly don't floss either, do you? No.
trying to get behind these bottom teeth. Sadly. One last suction. I'll just book an appointment for you with the hygienist. Okay. Can you come back two days time? 10.30? Okay. I shall warn her. Uh, I mean, I shall um, let her know that you're Alright, so I've booked you an hour appointment. It's going to need that, believe me. And I'll get you back a week today, same time. Okay. And I'll get you that prescription. Now I'm going to give you a prescription for something called metronidazole, okay? You must not drink alcohol of any kind with this, alright? Okay? Don't even use mouthwash while you're taking it, okay? And don't have foods with alcohol in, it causes a very, very nasty reaction. Yeah, you'll know to it. You'll throw your guts up and feel very unwell. But it's the best thing to help with that abscess, believe me. And I'll tell you about the drug and the pharmacist will also tell you and it will be on the label, okay? Just to remind you, no alcohol. So you can knock that red wine on the head. And also don't drink any red wine or any other alcohol for a few days after you've finished, okay? Because you could still get a reaction. So your prescription is just coming off at reception, so on your way out, collect that. We have a little dispensary where you can get that as well, okay? It'll be £25 for the private prescription. Bet you wish you'd looked after your teeth better now. By the time they're looking better and that smelly old abscess has gone, you're probably going to be um, a couple of hundred pounds lighter, I'd say. Right then, you're all done. Off you go and... Uh, Hygienists will see you in a couple of days. Alright. Bye.